Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to A Libra's Way. I'm going to be doing a reading on the crypto Stellar Lumens. Now, Stellar Lumens is actually one of my personal favorite ones. Um, it has been for a long time. Don't really know why, but I was always drawn to it ever since it was at six cents. <laughs> so, I don't know exactly why, but um, I've always been drawn to Stellar. So anyways, um, Stellar is known for being around a very long time. I, as far as I know, I don't know all the details, but based upon, upon what I've read online, it's been a lot, around for a long time. It's also um, partnered with IBM, if I'm not mistaken, which is a massive deal. Um, again, utility is the biggest thing to look for in any of these coins. Who are they working with currently? Where are they going to potentially go based upon who they're working with? If they're working with veterans of the economy and the market, such as IBM, it's a pretty massive deal. So, you know, there's potential for Stellar Lumens ultimately to be in a very positive trajectory in the long term. It doesn't necessarily come across like a short term play. But it's something that if you got some a long time ago and you just sat there and let it grow, um, it would be an excellent thing to go with. So we're using the Intuit Oracle deck here. We have Twin Flames. This is the energy from Stellar Lumens. A perfect combination, a perfect partnership that complements um, Stellar Lumens and IBM, but we're mainly focusing on Stellar Lumens and whether it's a really good fit whether crypto is going, or it, whether it's going to um, kind of just last and make a really great mark on in crypto, because that's what we're curious about. What does Stellar Lumens have? Where is Stellar Lumens going? Give us the deets. Magnifying glass. So larger than life, examine the fine print, clarity, very important details. So this is telling me right here, right away, what I picked up is there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than we realize about Stellar Lumens or that we think we know. I feel like there are also a lot more details that will be released. It feels like it will grow one with the market. So again, it's going to be around long term. It's going to be something that potentially has a much higher chance, not for certainty, but potentially definitely has a much higher chance of being a blue chip actually in the future. So even though maybe it doesn't hit like Bitcoin highs or something, it could end up being something um, up there, you know, like Cardano vibes or you know, something that like when you think of the top 10 to 15 cryptos, like this is one of them. And I think it is at this point, like Stellar Lumens is considered one of the like old school, like traditional cryptos, you know, and even if, of course, it goes to like 40 bucks, right? That's still like crazy. Um, of course, Bitcoin is like, OK, talking about going to 100 grand, 200 grand, a million, two million. Not every coin is going to do that. But the idea is that with this balance, the centered, meditate, integrate, flow, there's just a lot of like energetic, there's a lot of balance, there's a lot of structure. XLM feels like a very well-established coin, okay? Like it has, it's working with all of the right people, institutions, and has the right support base, the foundation that like would allow it to continue to grow in this way. You really like it's it's all about harmony is with Stellar Lumens. And I don't know its utility exactly, or maybe I do remember vaguely, but I don't want to say specifically because I can't, I'm not like in the space of remembering it right now, but it feels like whatever Stellar Lumens will do or how it will disrupt the space will be because it allows harmony in regards to like interconnecting 
people or coins around the world, something in relation to making it easier for cross functionality. Okay, that's what it that's what it feels like. And for that to come out is a very, very, very big deal. Now we have the high priestess, the moon revealing the subconscious mind, the space between the outer worlds, inner knowing dreams guarded. So again, it's almost like this particular coin is with the high priestess with the moon energy. Not all has been revealed yet about Stellar Lumen's capabilities. Now they might have released some, you know, some basic news articles, some they might have on their little regular website on their, you know, the Stellar Lumens website, sort of what they're doing and their purpose. But it's like it's not going to come together yet because its purpose will not make itself known until other parts of crypto are more developed is what I'm hearing. I also saw two to three, meaning it could be that two to three years where we actually start to see the movement forward. It could also be 2026, 25, 26, by the time things really get rolling is what it feels like. Ladybug, vibrant, abundant life, comfort, leisure, good health. This is a healthy coin. Why is the ladybug coming out? Because it's a it's a, like a lucky coin. When Ladybug comes out, that's what it feels like, at least to me. Again, there's a lot of balance. Look, the word balance has come out. Harmony with the twin flames. Balance centered. I mean, it's telling us that this is a very stable coin. Balance is all about stability. It's going to ultimately, if it's not considered one already, going to be a stable coin in some way based upon the readings or that it has a chance to. Networking, marketing, social media, fame, internet, spotlight. So it could have more to do with the internet. I don't I don't even know how that how that would work. I don't again, I like Stellar Lumens because my guides told me a long time ago. Stellar Lumens. Stellar Lumens. Stellar Lumens. This was the, when the market crashed actually. They said to Stellar Lumens like why and i just kept getting drawn to it so i don't know but it could be that it does something and it's it's disruptive in the instagram twitter facebook space out of nowhere okay is what it feels like but people already knew about it it was just waiting for its time to shine is what it feels like when this happens Look, albatross, good omen, monogamy, stamina, calm. We have at the bottom, of course, baggage, burdens, feelingers, but I didn't, did not feel drawn to that right away. I felt drawn to the begin, the top. A good omen. I want to get a few more cards for Stellar. Let's talk about our lovely Stellar. Fireworks. I mean, these are all really positive cards. Fireworks, passion, chemistry, happiness, excitement, explosive. The opportunity for this is explosive. Bear. It's currently in a bear market stage. It's not necessarily a bull market runner yet, which people kind of are aware of. It's been very stagnant. I want to get one last card and also at the bottom of this deck because I split the two decks in half we have the tree grounded again balance there's like so much stability and balance in this coin it's going to be a stable coin like this coin is going to literally like do some crazy stuff is what it feels like in the future not yet but in the future yeah Letter, writing, communication, email, mail, notes, records, info, and look what just shot out at the bottom. Yes, take inspired action. In my opinion, 
bestseller has a longer way to go than other coins, but out of nowhere, it's going to like do something. It's going to take off. Expect the unexpected. We had all these cards kind of showing. Pretty big cards, in my opinion. But this is the current energy that I feel for Stellar. Um, but the guys are showing me for Stellar as well. This is November going to December 2021. So obviously we'll do some check-ins as time goes on. But Stellar is definitely downplayed too. It's a mature coin. The establishment is behind it with the mature man. The establishment is very supportive of Stellar is what it feels like. Yeah, there's a whole community behind it. It's so, it is so underestimated, I feel like, or the purpose, intention behind it is so underestimated. People just don't, they won't see it coming as being something that could be as utility-wise. So it almost feels more so, though, like it would be more of a utility than it would be like a hype coin that's going to go crazy. Again, I mentioned that a little bit before, but... We have the courthouse and pathway, justice, a new path, a new path. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck here, I just split it. We have sudden wealth. So it might be that ultimately, you know, it goes in the future. I think the idea though, is that it's going to be around for the long haul is what it feels like. Summer came out, assertiveness. What else came out, wants to come out? Goodbye the old, hello to the new, ask for what you want. Yeah, there's a lot of green energy here. It's just a matter of when. It feels like, again, it's a longer, it has a longer road before it gets, finds its success. But it has a very, very, very high chance of bringing in stability that people might not necessarily expect at this point. So thank you so much for tuning in to A Libra's Way. I really like this energy. It's a very stable, calm. There's not a bunch of crazy stuff about it. It's just like one of those ones that one day will probably just creep up to like $20 and then to like $500. You know, like something ridiculously random out of nowhere where people are like, wait a second stellar like i didn't see that coming and it's gonna be like yeah stellar has been around super long like it's been backed by ibm like literally to be backed by any of those types of companies is <laughs> actually almost a bigger deal than all of these other spaces because they're partnering with companies that are like 200 years old you know that like have all of the qualifications and more right so it's a big deal. Anyways, very stable energy, a great, feels like a very great thing to support, I'll just say. It's a great coin to support, it feels like. Even if you're not bought in to support the idea, the concept, the innovation, yeah. All right, thanks for tuning in. Hope this reading gave some insight based upon what the cards told us and see you next time on A Libra's Way. Bye.